goal at Aston Villa. It was an own goal from Richard Dryden, as you see. They are also assured of their Premiership status for next season. Well, it was a dreadful day for the North East. Middlesbrough and Sunderland relegated. In the end, the three points deducted from Borough proved crucial. Sunderland backed down after just one season in the Premiership, and Coventry and Southampton have once again proved themselves experts at a void. We're at Sheffield Wednesday. Hardly out of the top three all season, leaders at the turn of the year, Liverpool needed to beat one of the unpredictables. Wednesday, having started with four straight wins, feared closing with four straight defeats. But the post rescued them from young Michael Owen's shot. Still goalless with 16 minutes left. Then Mark Wright fluffed a clearance. Substitute O'Neill Donaldson stepped in. Only his second goal of the season. Wednesday also had a sub in goal. Matt Clark, deputising for the injured Kevin Pressman, marked his debut by getting sent off for handball. Technically correct, but unlucky. Andy Booth became Wednesday's third goalkeeper, but he was more a spectator as Jamie Redknapp's free kick curled in. Liverpool hopes reignited. On the stroke of time, Jason McAteer found the angle for a stinging shot, but Booth saved well. Three points with a guaranteed second place, one was a sweat. Arsenal were part of the calculation, but they faced being overwhelmed in the party marking the end of Derby's 102 years at the baseball ground. The celebrations were in full swing when Ashley Ward headed Derby in front at the second attempt. Only nine minutes gone. Bad went to worse for the Gunners four minutes later. Exit Tony Adams, having added two more yellow cards to the club's unenviable total. When the skipper was sent off at Newcastle earlier in the season, Arsenal went on to win. And here they rallied with a second half equaliser following Francis Anelka's shot. Ian Wright, as ever, quick to react. Arsenal came again. The build up was far from coherent, but the finish was deliberate and deadly. Dennis Bergkamp's hallmark. The fizz in Derby's party going flat by the minute. But Ian Wright hadn't quenched his thirst. In went Arsenal's third of the game, Wright's 30th of the season. Arsenal level with Liverpool on points, above them on goal difference. Meanwhile, at St James's Park, Newcastle United were having their say against the dispirited Forest already condemned to the poor man's table next season. Faustino Aspria was first to respond after Kenny Dalglish had sent out a three-man strike force. Then Aspria passed on the responsibility. Indeed, made it relatively straightforward for Les Ferdinand. The next assist came from Warren Barton. Sweetly waited, just on the line that Ferdinand wanted, 3-0. And where in all this was Alan Shearer, just biding his time and it wasn't long coming. 4-0 at half-time. One more in the second half, claimed by another man in good scoring form lately, Robbie Elliott. Newcastle end level on points with Liverpool and Arsenal, but with the best goal difference of the three. Although I'm sitting here at the moment. Castle as runners-up are in the qualifying round of it. The four clubs who've qualified for the UEFA Cup are Arsenal, Liverpool, Aston Villa and the Coca-Cola Cup winners Leicester City. And take another look at those final placings. The top five are the same clubs who filled the top five positions a year ago and our man Albert tells us that's never happened before in the 109 years of league football. I know you wanted to know that. Now, um, <laughs> Trevor, Newcastle United. At the Theatre of Dreams, the final act of a long-running and familiar story. Champagne flew in all directions as United showed off their fourth championship in five seasons. In front of 55,000 fans, United briskly began business, but their first goal may prove a quandary. Paul Scholes' thumping shot appeared to cross the line. Oli Solskjaer made sure Old Trafford wasn't bothered either way. Fittingly, Eric Cantona supplied one moment of mastery to carve out the second. Jordi Cruyff, on as substitute, supplied the finish. The United hierarchy saluted another win and another title. Just to talk to Chelsea's FA Cup squad this week will cost you an arm and a leg, if the Sunday papers are to be believed. Their Wembley warm-up at Goodison Park provided Dennis Wise the opportunity to let his boots do the talking. A delicate chip from the edge of the box fooled Neville Southall. 
the home crowd was speechless, much like Chelsea's star players. Chelsea's cause was hardly helped by the sending off of their Norwegian keeper, Froda Grodas. He came hurtling out and unwisely tangled with big Duncan Ferguson. The predictable outcome, Chelsea reduced to 10 men. Any clues about Wembley form next week could certainly be deduced from this move, Petrescu crossing from the right and a classic finish from Roberto Di Matteo. Everton have been a disappointment this season, but they did pull one goal back late on. Hitchcock could only parry Watson's header, Nick Barmby in for the poacher's goal. The hyperactive Leicester City manager Martin O'Neill swapped his dugout for a relaxed seat in the stand. His players seemed to enjoy themselves too. Emil Heskey powering in this early header from Steve Claridge's cross. In keeping with a game that had little bearing on the Premiership, Blackburn's equaliser must be a candidate for the daftest goal of the season. Scorer Gary Flickcroft knew very little about it. Leicester City's success this season has come from surprising sources. Steve Claridge is a case in point, here taking on the Rovers' defence and beating them. He may look untidy, but he's been a constant threat all season. The party move was in full swing now, thanks to Leicester City's prodigiously gifted teenager, Emil Heskey. His power and pace proving too much for Ian Pearce. How about this for a finish? Heskey tried his best not to get excited. In drizzly Lancashire rain, Rovers then gave their fans something to shout about. Stuart Ripley's cross headed home by Graham Fenton for his first goal of the season. But Leicester City weren't quite finished and another comic goal made it 4-2. Substitute Stuart Wilson's shot deflected past Tim Flowers. Steve Lee reporting. Well, finally, our goal.